Flatten out about a third pound of clay using your hands and a rolling pin. Rotate the board so the clay particles spread in multiple directions. Compress and smooth out the surface. Take a circular form and trace onto the clay slab. Peel excess away and compress the side wall. Now prepare coils. I like to squeeze my clay into logs and then roll on the table with my fingers. Score the slab's edge and the coils in opposite directions or crosshatch everything. Use a very light amount of water or slip for very plastic clay to attach. Make sure you are compressing as you go so the coils are secure to one another. Coil on the inward edge so the coils gradually come in to create a dome. You will need a sparse amount of water or slip to attach. Once the clay has stiffened some, use your serrated rib to score the surface. This smooths irregularities.
Use a smooth metal rib to smooth out the score marks. This helps to compress the coils for a stronger pot. Use carving, loop, or hole digging tools to create holes at the top of the dome. The flower stems will be inserted here, so make sure they are wide enough yet not too big, the stems won't stay upright. A flower stem is around the size of a needle tool. My top hole is a bit big, so I'm going to halve it with a coil. 